Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today we're going to be taking a look at Epic Citadel. This is Epic Games' uh, first internal project to produce an Unreal Engine 3 project for Android. Uh, we've actually seen um, Unreal Engine 3 on Android and iOS uh, around three years ago, uh, but the demo has just arrived on Android today uh, with a new feature for benchmarking. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be taking the uh, Samsung Google Nexus 10 tablet and putting it up against the uh, ASUS Transformer Infinity Pad. So these are two 10-inch uh, tablets obviously, but the Nexus 10 is running on the Samsung Exynos 5 and the Infinity Pad is running on the Tegra 3 processor. So why don't we get started with the benchmarking right now. Uh, the benchmarking utility you can see here, there's a frame rate in the bottom left corner. Uh, and we actually can also check out the quality settings and resolution details. This, this benchmarking feature right now is exclusive to Android. Uh, in case you're wondering about the difference in the processors, the NVIDIA Tegra 3 is a quad core running at 1.6 uh, gigahertz and it's got a gig of RAM and the Nexus 10 is a dual core running at 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, this is based on the Cortex A15 processor and this has an ARM Mali uh, T604 um, GPU and obviously the NVIDIA Tegra 3 has their 12 core GPU. The displays on these two tablets are also very different. Um, the Nexus 10 is 2560 by 1600 and Asus's tablet is 1920 by 12. Uh, that has a pixel density of 224 and the Nexus 10 has a PPI of 300. So overall this tablet is just a lot more robust in the display category. So you can see the Nexus 10 has nearly doubled uh, the average frame rate of the um, transformer pad. Yeah. So this has just been a quick look at Epic Citadel, which is uh, Epic Games' first Unreal 3, dedicated first Unreal 3, in, in, Unreal Engine 3 project for Android. Uh, I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks, taking a quick look at graphics on tablets. Yeah.